Welcome to this day for this Tuesday, August 16th. I'm Paul Ortiz, filling in for a vacation in Lisa Hart. She'll be joining us tomorrow. Well, today on our program, we're going to have Siobhan Foster. She is the Chief Executive Officer for VMS, and we're going to have an update, and especially about some staffing and some facilities that will have new operational hours here in the next couple of weeks. So we'll look forward to that conversation. Also, we had a chance to take Lisa over to the amazing hearing, and she got to sit down with Ann Mundell Noel and have her hearing check. So we'll be getting a, a look at that and hear a little bit about what she has to say. Well, today we only have one meeting. That's going to be the third mutual. They're going to meet today at 930. That's going to be in the boardroom. Also, you can also go on Granicus. That's through our LagunaWoodsVillage.com website. And of course, you can watch it live here on Village Television at 930 AM this morning. Well, let's go outside. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be a bit warm today. We still see temperatures well into the 80s in overnight temperatures in the high 60s. It uh, looks like it might at least, uh, well, it's gonna be very warm this weekend. I was gonna say it might be a little bit the same, but it looks like temperatures will go up just a little bit. You are gonna see temperatures well into the 80s for the next, I would say, week and a half or so in overnight temperatures. Again, still kind of warm, especially that Saturday when it's overnight, about 70 degrees, it's pretty warm. So uh, be sure and wear that sunblock, wear a hat <clears throat> when you're outside, and um, you know, be sure and drink lots of water as well. And don't forget your pets, too, because your pets need to have uh, plenty of water and keep them hydrated and keep them cool in the shade as well. Hey, let's take a look at our sunrise and sunset. Our sunrise this morning was at 6.14 a.m. Our sunset this evening will be at 7.37 p.m. And look at this wonderful picture. That's uh, from Lori Malawa. And that is the Rhine River. And part of her email when she sent this was, there were castles everywhere. So for those of you who have been on that Viking cruise, which I'm not sure if this was a Viking cruise or not, but this is uh, the Rhine River. It's 765 miles long, and it flows from the Swiss Alps down to the North Sea. So Lori, thanks so much for, joining, for sending us that picture. And if you have a picture you'd like to share with us, be sure and email us at LagunaWoodsVillageTV at gmail.com. We'll be back with more of our program right after this. We are the first light after a cancer diagnosis. The illuminated entry point to life-saving cancer therapies and novel treatments often sought by the rest of the world. We are a dedicated team of more than 400 physicians and 1,000 scientists and researchers. We are cancer-focused, but human-centric. We are thousands of breakthrough discoveries. We are where cancer stops. And life keeps on getting lived. The future of cancer treatment is here. When a loved one requires ongoing assistance and attention, home-related care and caregiving become viable alternatives to an existence dependent upon hospitalization. Your home care provides thoughtful general care and assistance with the basic necessities of daily living, all within familiar surroundings. Hello, I'm Kyle Warner, and I would love to talk to you about how we can help with your home care needs. Call me today. Welcome to Balbina's Mexican Restaurant. Stop by and experience the most authentic Mexican food in the region. We are serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We have a very extensive Mexican wine list from Valle de Guadalupe and the central of Mexico. Visit us for breakfast and lunch from 8 in the morning to 2 p.m. and for dinner from 5 to 9 p.m. Stop by on Wednesdays and enjoy with half off on all of our wines. Hi, I'm Vince Ferragamo. I spent some of my best years as an NFL quarterback, but today I've got a new team and we're helping seniors who spent their best years fighting for our country, defending our freedom and informing the nation. Our hometown heroes need help. AgeWell Senior Services is their lifeline. Nonprofit AgeWell can do all of this because you care enough to give. Please join me in supporting AgeWell. Donate today. Uh, joining us on the set now, Siobhan Foster. She's our Chief Executive Officer for Village Management Services. 
And you actually have some really good news to share with our community today. I do, Paul, and yeah. I'm excited to do that. Yeah, we have some uh, staffing uh, issues that we've kind of resolved, and it's nice to see that some of the facilities are finally going to have some nice open hours now. That is correct. Yeah. Tell us all about it. I'd love to. So this morning I want to highlight the additional hours at our amenities, but first off I want to thank our village residents for stepping forward. BMS has been working really hard to fill vacancies with the post-pandemic job market. It's been very difficult. So we created a new position. Um, it's called Recreation Leader and Community Center Attendant. It's a part-time position. Mm -hmm. And we've really encouraged our residents to apply for this position. And they've stepped forward with great enthusiasm. And this is allowing us to open more and more of our facilities. Uh, wow. We seem to have an announcement almost every week about additional hours at the amenities. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to take everyone through that this morning. Absolutely. So beginning with the community center for table tennis, the center is now open Tuesday and Thursday evenings until 9 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday from noon to 5 p.m. And then starting tomorrow, Wednesday, August 17th, we're going to be open again until 9 p.m. for table tennis. Mm -hmm. So that's very extended hours for that amenity. Yeah, we know that club has been very active for many years and, and obviously like you mentioned the COVID, uh, you know, we weren't able to staff it after basically business hours and now they'll have yes. that opportunity. Yes, as well as weekends yeah. and the attendance oh, has been great. Since that's great news. And then in terms of community center uh, hours for the fitness center, it is open Tuesday and Thursday evenings now until 8 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. to noon. Mm -hmm. So extended hours there. The Community Center Mac Learning Center is now open Saturdays from noon to 3 p.m. And this is on a two-month trial basis. Yeah, and that's too, uh, the MAC Learning Center has always been run by residents and just a matter of having that extra body to kind of get us through those extended hours. So yes. the MAC and the PC Club has really been something here, because we know they're here on the third floor. Oh, that's right. And uh, those residents are pretty active and they have terrific workshops if uh, you're wanting to learn more about any of the PC operating systems or even MAC operating systems. Great, great. And then Clubhouse 7, we're making some changes there as well. Uh, beginning, well, beginning this last Sunday, it was open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., mm -hmm. extending the hours there. But starting August 28th, it will be open until 10 p.m. in the evening on Sundays to allow for some of the larger clubs to have yeah. evening meetings there, which is very exciting. Wow, that's nice. Kittle Clubhouse 7, also a very popular place for our bridge club. That's true. Yeah. Yes. And then a couple of additional items. A second circuit training class has been added to Clubhouse One. It's actually starting today, which is August 16th. And residents may register online via ActiveNet if they are interested. And then starting tomorrow, Wednesday, August 17th, a new service will be offered at the pool at Clubhouse Two, Pool Two. Restaurant 19 will be offering uh, poolside beverage and food service beginning again tomorrow. Wow. So. so is someone actually going to walk around, kind of like what in Palm Springs, where someone walks around and takes an order, and then they bring your, your I, order back out? I believe it'll be by telephone call, oh, okay, so if good. you're at the and pool and you're interested. Something out? Yes. Great. Well, that works out just as well and keeps staff out of the hot sun, and they just deliver their refreshments. Exactly. Great. So hopefully that'll be a success. Yeah, and nice. then we're going, to be uh, mm -hmm. we're going to be announcing additional amenities and hours mm -hmm. in the near future as yeah. we get more people through the pre-employment process and they come yeah. on board and are trained. So it's just really the first step to getting the facilities open like they were prior to COVID. That's and correct. of course, like everyone in the country, you know, staffing has always been a challenge. And as we, we have so many residents that are, you know, so, they've been in the workforce for so many years now that we could now use their help here in our community and they're stepping up to really help out. Absolutely. And we really appreciate that partnership. And I wanted to make sure that everyone yeah, heard that appreciation absolutely. this morning. Now residents, just so we let our viewers know, they, they are only part-time employees. So that's even more of a challenge. Yes, that's yeah. correct. But it gives them the flexibility to do other things. Absolutely. So. They moved here, right, to enjoy the rest of their retirement. And it's nice to kind of have that, you know, couple of days where you go in and work and make a little extra money. 
Yes. Great. So, Do you have anything else you want to share with us today? No, that's it today, that's Paul. It. Thank okay. you. I know we're going to let you go because you're going to be over at uh, in the boardroom at Third Mutual. We'll have their meeting at 930 this morning. That's correct. And that's their regular meeting. So we wish you well today in the board meeting, and uh, we'll see you again next time. Thank you, Paul. Yeah. Have a good day. You bet. That's Siobhan Foster. She is the Chief Executive Officer for Village Management Services, and she appears right here on Village Television every Tuesday at 9 o'clock. We'll be back with Lisa Hart and Ann Mundell Noel, and they're going to head over to Amazing Hill. Hi, I'm Ann Mundell Noel, audiologist and owner at Amazing Hearing. As we head into the new year, it's time to focus on making changes and setting goals. In 2022, make a new goal to improve your hearing. At Amazing Hearing, we understand better hearing means better memory, better balance, and most importantly, better communication. Call us to set up your appointment. At Amazing Hearing, we will help you reach your goal. All right, well, we have Ann Mundell Noel here from Amazing Hearing, and I had a great time in her office and learned so much. Welcome. Thank you. It was fun to have you. I think it's great because um, I think what the, the first time that I actually went and visited you was kind of a trial for me, and um, I hadn't had my hearing checked in, I don't know, forever, right? What did we grade say? School? Grade school, right? Because that's probably <laughs> the last so. time you ever checked, right? Unless mm -hmm. something was wrong. Mm -hmm. And it is so different now. I mean, it really is different. So when I, but before we get into my visit, let's talk about the hearing in general, because I know you like to let everybody know just sort of how it works. Sure. So when we test hearing, what we're doing is we're really testing the physical portion of what's going to go into the brain. Okay. So the sound will go down the ear canal. It'll cross those three little bones. Yeah. It'll go into the inner ear where it makes an electrical impulse, and mm -hmm. then the impulse is sent to the brain. So okay. what happens is we're looking at the ear canal when you come in for a test to make sure that there's no wax, there's no right. um, obstacle blocking it. Right. And then we'll check the three little bones and the middle ear to make sure that there's no fluid behind the eardrum and then we'll check the inner ear when we do the hearing test. So when you look through when you look through the ear, how far in are you actually seeing? So we're seeing all the way to where it says tympanic membrane. We're seeing oh, all okay. the way up to the eardrum. Oh, oh, that's and the And then we're okay. testing the middle section and the intersection. And then what happens is the sound from the left ear goes to the right side of our brain, right. and the sound from the right ear goes to the left side of our brain. And then the two sides tell each other what's happening in real time. Okay. So it's an amazing system. But yeah. the big thing is just remembering the whole idea is that we're checking to see how much information can go from here up to here. Right. And then it's up to the brain to do the processing. Right, okay, so let's talk about what it would be like if um, someone was to visit your office for the first time. I mean, that's pretty much what we did, mm -hmm. and we went through the process. Right. Uh, so tell me just sort of what to expect as we go through, and, and we'll show some of the footage that we took. Sure, so when you come into the office, we will have you fill out some forms, um, get a little case history on you, and then we will start with the hearing test. Mm -hmm. And I will ask you some medical questions first. Um, I think with the, uh, the information that uh, we're showing right now, what you're seeing is Lisa walking into the <laughs> office and kind of getting oriented to what's happening. Right. I take you back. Right. And the first thing we did here is we had her sit down and check her ears for wax. Well, and that was <laughs> so bizarre, actually, because that water, I, I was not expecting it. And it's very unusual because I don't think I had any wax at the time, but to check is really crazy. Yeah, so I was checking your ears for wax, making sure that I couldn't see any. You wanted to experience I did. Uh, and just look at just disclaimer, is, Lisa did not have any wax. I did not have any wax, but this, this bizarre, it was it was not harmful. It didn't hurt or anything. It just, it just a sounds weird, weird. It's a weird sensation for A sure. lot of people love it. 
it because it feels like an ear jacuzzi. So if you have it wax does. that's down deep in your ears, it gets that itching yeah. out. Oh, yeah. um, I do have to say, as an audiologist, we are licensed to be able to remove wax for the purpose okay. of hearing testing and fitting a hearing aid. Okay. We do not remove wax for general patients. Got it. So you have to go to the urgent care or the ENT. But if you come in and it's an obstacle for a hearing test or fitting the hearing aid, that's when we can go ahead and remove it. Okay. So a hearing aid dispenser is not licensed. An audiologist in the state of California is. So okay. We don't have to send you away. We can take care of the problem right there. Okay, and and now and now you take us back to your <laughs> office, and you you want us you run us through the the different testing. Yep. So here we are doing the testing, and you can see that you are sitting behind some sound panels, but you don't have to go back into that scary booth. So <laughs> by sitting in the chair right there, I can do all the testing. It's very natural. It's comfortable. It's all calibrated. But okay. the nice thing is, is that you're not moving up and down. Uh -huh. So patients who are limited in mobility, we can put a wheelchair in, yeah. we can do those things and move around. Yeah. So it's very easy to, to perform right. the testing. And then the, the, obviously we were showing the little buttons and you have to press the button every time you hear. So I mean, it's pretty similar to what you've done in the past. It's just so much more advanced. And I know that we did show, I mean, this is what, this is kind of the results uh, page that you go over with everybody. But what was really interesting is that you know, what you're hearing obviously is sounds, but then there's also another hearing test where you talk about, you have to say words that you hear. And so you had mentioned that some people don't hear correctly words. Right. So, right. So when you have a hearing loss, we're looking for what is the minimum level of sound you can hear the words. Then we're looking at a normal conversational level is the brain. If it has um, a hearing loss, mm -hmm. it's not getting that full input to the brain. And so okay. are you really getting all the sounds? So right. if I'm saying me and you're hearing me, I'm saying fish and you're hearing dish, mm -hmm. that's where mm -hmm. the confusion mm -hmm. comes because the brain doesn't have all the sound it needs. Yeah. And so you're just giving quick one words there's no sentence structure or semantics to kind of put the meaning together yeah and then we can see how well you're comprehending but then we also do a more sophisticated test because we test you in noise remember the yeah. background noise gets yeah. louder oh, yeah, yeah. and louder that's right that's right and then we see how does the brain filter the background noise right. so that is a test that's more sophisticated that most offices don't perform but being best practices for audiology we do Okay, excellent, excellent. Yeah. Now, uh, if somebody, uh, oh, and, and if somebody <laughs> was uh, needing a hearing aid, mm -hmm. we ran through what it would be like to get a custom hearing aid. And mm -hmm. I have my little mold <laughs> right here, which was such a trip because um, I've never been, I've never been, um, you know, had this done before and it's like a little mold and we're showing some of the hearing aids here now but uh, this little mold is just a, a, a bizarre thing so what they do is she puts uh, some, like, what is uh, it? Tell first, me. First, a cotton block. Yeah. And then we put silicone impression material in your ear. Okay. And here I am taking the impression of Lisa's ear. So you put the <laughs> cotton block in to make so sure that bizarre. you don't hit the eardrum, that you have something to hit against, which is what you have there. And that's silicone. And then silicone. we fill it up. And that's silicone on one side and an accelerator on the other Got so it. that when they mix together, it will harden. Okay. And it takes about, what, five minutes? Yeah, it was really quick. Yep. And then it's a nice, Sound plug, isn't it? You it are really muffled. I want to have like custom ones for when I sleep. <laughs> they will never sound that deep or that tight, um, that muffled because it's so deep. I'm sorry, yeah. but yeah, yeah, you get the general idea. But you know what? You, one thing you did tell me is that you can have custom earplugs made. You sure can. That's Sleep great. plugs, um, swim plugs, all kinds yeah. of plugs. Yeah. And they are getting so soft and such great material. Absolutely. Now, of course, if someone does need a hearing aid, you have a plethora of mm -hmm. hearing aids to choose from. We do. Not only in your office, but also you have like a little store out front where you can see display. different kinds mm -hmm. of different, yeah, like a display and, and you have other little tchotchke things and fun stuff there. So it's great. I mean, you've, you're a one-stop shop. You've got everything you need. I think it's great. Yeah, we're trying to be the place for hearing. So yeah. whether or not you are somebody young who wants noise protection or a hunter's protection or custom earplugs, yeah. we do things for musicians, right. um, or as you start to transition into maybe needing a hearing aid or some assistive devices, we have TV 
TV, phones, all kinds of things. Right. We work with the state of California for the CTAP program okay. so we can get free phones for patients who want them and then moving all the way into the hearing aids yeah. and um, testing, getting you ready for cochlear implant or pushing yeah. you towards that if that's the direction you need to go, we Perfect. make those referrals. Yeah, lots of different choices. So thank you for coming in and thank you for hosting us. Thanks for coming in. And if you ever need any hearing help, you know where to go. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay. And of course, if you want more information about Amazing Hearing, you can always go to their website, which is amazinghearing.net, or you can give them a call at the number on your screen. And so go get your hearing checked. We'll be right back. We all need someone to hold our hand now more than ever. And when you need help with your hearing, we will not only hold your hand, but we'll help walk with you through the process. Hi, I'm Ann Mundell Noel, audiologist and owner of Amazing Hearing. Oticon's more hearing aids with deep neural networking and artificial intelligence helps you hear people in noise with greater detail and clarity. The Oticon more and Amazing Hearing. We're here to help give you a helping hand. Hi, I'm Vince Ferragamo. I spent some of my best years as an NFL quarterback, but today I've got a new team, and we're helping seniors who spent their best years fighting for our country, defending our freedom, and informing the nation. Our hometown heroes need help. AgeWell Senior Services is their lifeline. Nonprofit AgeWell can do all of this because you care enough to give. Please join me in supporting AgeWell. Donate today. Watch HGTV. Netflix. Well, if you're a member of United Mutual, we want to remind you that we'll be showing their United Meet the Candidates meeting. That's going to be in the boardroom on Friday. That's at 1230 right here on Village Television. And you're obviously welcome to attend live and come on over to the boardroom. They'll be right here in the first floor of your community center. And candidate statements will air every Wednesday at 3.30 p.m. That's going to start on August 24th through September 21st. But the most important part of that is the ballots are due back on Thursday, September 22nd, and uh, at 11 o'clock, the inspectors will have, a, a, have them looked at once they're in the post office box, and they do want you to actually put them in the community center ballot box at 5 o'clock on that day. So on September 22nd, please have them either at the post office at 11 o'clock or come on over to your community center at 5 o'clock and be able to put that in the ballot box. Usually that ballot box is just right outside the front door of your community center or if you walk in the lobby, they'll have it there on occasion as well. So be sure and do that. That's United Mutual. They'll have their election and their meeting on Friday right here on Village Television at 1230. Well, we also have something very fun that's coming to your community. That's going to be We Will Rock You. That's going to be at the Performing Arts Center. That is Saturday, August 20th. 
that's at seven o'clock. It's Queen Nation. It's a, you know, of course, a live concert right at the Performing Arts Center. They've only had a couple of those in the last couple of months, so it's nice to see that those activities are happening once again over there at the Performing Arts Center. So be sure and get over there. You can get your tickets at lagunawoodsvillage.com, or you can just give them a call at 597-4288, or you can email recreation at vmsinc.org to get any more information. We thank Aetna and Anthem for helping sponsor We Will Rock You on Saturday, August 20th. We also have a couple other things that we want to share with you. There's going to be a barbecue buffet. That's going to be on Monday, August 22nd. That's over there at Clubhouse 5. It's going to start about 5 o'clock. You know, for only $25, you'll be able to have all the brisket you want, and that's going to be, uh, you know, a pretty fun event. That's also sponsored by the Recreation Department. Be sure and uh, give them a call again at 597-4382 to get those tickets. They're over there at the Clubhouse 5 office as well. So uh, they'll be there, I guess, until July 21st. So I imagine that's going to sell out pretty quickly and be sure and have a, a pretty good time over there. And one last thing we want to tell you about one of the other activities happening here is a Saturday night dance. Very popular in our community for many dec decades now. That's going to start on August 27th. That's again at Clubhouse 5. Tickets are only $10 at the door, and the doors will open at 6 o'clock. And the Disco Diva plays at 6.30. There is a GRF, GRF no-host bar, and that's going to be from 6 until 8.30 p.m. So that's over there at Clubhouse 5. Some wonderful things happening right here in your community. Be sure and check out uh, many of the events that are happening and go over to the recreation office located right here on the first floor to get that schedule. Well, let's take a quick look outside. It looks like it's going to be a pretty warm day today. Uh, temperatures, again, will be in the high 80s and that's gonna last through the weekend. And then of course our overnight temperatures will be again in the high 60s. So if you're out there playing some pickleball or tennis, be sure and wear that sunblock and bring lots of water with you. Well, we thank you for joining us today on our program. Lisa Hart will be back from vacation tomorrow, but from everyone here at Village Television, we thank you for joining us on this day. Enjoy the rest of your day right here in Laguna Woods Village. Russia's invasion of Ukraine, COVID lockdowns in China, relentless inflation and rising interest rates have disrupted production and caused the global economy to stall. Is your money at risk during these uncertain times? Do you know how much exposure you have to the stock market and bond mutual funds? Should you even have money in the market today? Get a free risk analysis to ensure your capital is protected. Call now for information on the Safer Money System, 949-219-0692. Oh, life, how we admire you, are deeply fascinated by you. All your twists and turns and wild rides you take us on. The ups and the downs. Life, you live inside all of us, breathing, growing, beating. You are the reason we'll always provide world-class health care. Providence, we see the life in you. Nothing spoils outdoor fun like a day-biting mosquito. The 80s mosquito, known as the ankle biter, spreads diseases like Zika, dengue, and yellow fever. These aggressive little buggers need only a cap full of water to breathe. So throw away, turn over, empty twice a week, or drill holes in the bottom of any container that holds at least a teaspoon of water. Protect yourself by wearing mosquito repellent and closing all unscreened windows and doors. To report unusual numbers of mosquitoes, call Orange County Mosquito and Vector Control District. Village Television presents Friday Films, only on Village Television. Fridays at 2 and 6 p.m. Foreign films, dramas, and comedies. Award-winning films, romance and mystery. 
independent films. Every Friday, only on Village Television.